They are harvesting weeds near the village of Piu. The Meramaya vine covers, then kills trees. But here, it's being put to use. Mixed with animal manure, it produces biogas. That's used for cooking. Gas lights can be powered too, useful in a place with only sporadic electricity supply. Very easy for us to cook the foods and the light when the power will be off. This, though, is only half the story. Biogas can also power generators to make electricity. At the UN Small Island Developing States Conference, a demonstration shows it helping to power a fleet of golf buggies. More than two-thirds of Samoa's current electricity comes from diesel, both dirty and expensive to import. Power prices here at 50 US cents per kilowatt hour are two to three times those in big countries. How can a poor household manage to, you know, um, develop private sector, develop businesses without access to electricity or really expensive electricity? Biogas electricity could help and mean villages could be net power producers, earning income for feeding excess power back to the electricity grid. UN head Ban Ki-moon has made sustainable energy one of the top issues in Samoa, and renewable energy companies here are showing off what they can do for sunny, windy or wet places. Delegates were taken to the launch of Samoa's first wind turbine project. What makes this type of turbine particularly good for small islands is that it can be winched down if a cyclone hits and maintenance can take place at ground level without the need for specialist equipment or, crucially, specialist people. Smart technology like this is seen as crucial. Hydropower is another being pushed as part of the overall package. In Samoa, it already accounts for nearly a third of the total. But at the conference, the pitches are to donor governments as much as small island leaders. The biogas project is being funded by the United Kingdom and Denmark. The wind turbines were paid for by the United Arab Emirates. Most poor small island developing states need foreign aid to kickstart innovation. That's the power of politics. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, PU, Samoa.